started to heat up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open the steak up. So it's been sitting out for 45 minutes to bring it up to room temperature. The reason in which we do that is so that the heat of the room is roughly about 16 to 18 degrees. And what that will do is it will take the chill off it so that when we go to cook it and roast it, the temperature in the pan is going to permeate through the whole entire steak equally, giving us a perfectly cooked steak. Okay, so while our pan's heating up, we're going to open our steak up and we're going to put it in a little dish. We're going to heavily season it to get plenty of flavour into it with the salt. Now this chateau, we pre-cooked, so all you have to do is roast it in a pan with a little bit of garlic, butter and thyme and then it will implement loads and loads of flavour to the outside. And then when you go to carve it later on, you'll have that extra depth of flavour over the top. So what we're going to do, season it. Don't be shy, loads of salt on the outside. So, a little bit of oil straight into the pan. Make sure it's screaming hot, because if it's not, you won't get a nice crust on the outside of the steak. What we're trying to do is get as much flavour into that caramelisation as possible. If we don't get it, it will still be good, but it won't be perfect. Okay, now that your pan's nice and hot, if you're unsure of it, whether it's hot or not, just run your hand over the top of it, don't touch it. If you feel a lot of heat coming off it, that's you ready to go. If not, just keep it on. You might even get a little bit of smoking from the side. That's absolutely fine. So steak, straight into the pan. You can hear that sizzle. That's the caramelization process starting and all the flavor starting to build up on the outside of the steak. So roast that in there. At the same time, you want to pop your sauce on. So in a pan, we're just gonna pop it on the stove, get it nice and hot, pop the sauce in and bring it to the boil. You don't wanna have it on for too long at the boil because it will start to split. So at that point, take it straight off the stove and just let it just sit there and stay warm. So in this sauce, a beautiful peppercorn sauce, we've got three different types of peppercorn. We've got brandy, shallot, garlic, thyme, cream, and some beautiful beef stock. So you can see that the steak's on just now and it's really starting to caramelize. What we want to do is to seal it on all sides so we can get that flavor all over it. Don't be too scared that there's a bit of smoke in the pan and a bit of fat. What you're trying to do is get it as hot as possible without burning it. As you can see, this steak's really starting to caramelize now on the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this into the oven for eight to 10 minutes at medium rare, 10 to 15 minutes for medium, and 20 to 25 minutes for medium well. Straight into the oven. That was extremely hot and I don't want you burning yourself. As you can see on this steak, it feels perfectly cooked and we're just before medium rare, so in between rare and medium rare. And what we're going to do now is our little chef's tip that's in the timeline in the booklet. We're going to add hundreds of butter, some garlic and some thyme, and we're going to roast the hell out of it in this pan to create so much caramelization, the flavor is unbelievable. Don't be shy when it comes to the butter. What I've done is I've cut it into small little cubes so it melts straight away. If I have it in one large cube, it'll just cool the pan down. It's obviously been sitting out at room temperature as well for the last half an hour to make sure that it melts straight away. As you can see, I've not held back. So in with some fresh thyme and a little bit of crushed, crushed garlic. Don't be shy with that either because it's full of flavor. The more garlic, the more fun. As you can see, the butter's starting to caramelize. And what I'm gonna do is make sure we keep turning the steak. You want the butter to get darker and darker to make that rich flavor. It'll be perfect when you start to pour it over the top and it starts to fry the steak. So another couple of seconds, and then we'll turn it down slightly and you'll get the perfect temperature. Oh, smell that. Unbelievable. So I'm just gonna slowly start basting the butter over the top of the steak to add more flavor to it. When the steak's cooking, all the juices will start to come out of it and it'll emulsify with the butter inside the pan and the garlic and the thyme. Start putting that back on top of the steak. This will generate, again, more flavor. The more we can get into it, the better the steak will be. As you can see here, we've got hundreds of caramelization happening. And what this is doing is it's creating all that flavor. So we're almost ready. So what we're gonna do is pop our steak into a little side dish and just allow that to rest. So I'm gonna rest this for as long as it takes to cook. So mine's gonna be sitting in there for 10 minutes. 
So what I'm going to do is add the garlic and thyme and a little bit of the brown butter on the top. Doesn't look the most appealing, tastes absolutely sensational. So, we have our beautifully cooked chateau here. We'll take off the garlic and the thyme that's been resting over the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our little pot of smoked salt, carve the steak, season with the smoked salt, pop it on the plate and enjoy. So, we've cut our steak, it's rested, it's ready to go. We're going to season with a good helping of our smoked salt. We're going to serve this onto the plate. Let's finish off with a little touch of peppercorn sauce. So here we have it, 